Welcome back. In the previous few lessons, we looked into how to use our KMS keys to encrypt data on Amazon S3. In this lesson, we will take a look into how to use our KMS keys to encrypt our EBS volumes. First of all, I'm going to go to EC2 dashboard and click on volumes. In here, I don't have any volume, so I'm going to create a new volume. So once I get to this window, I'm going to select the size of my EBS volume to be not 100 gigabytes, but or gigabytes, but 10, because this is just a demo. Once I have that chosen, I will come down to the encryption section. This is the section that we're interested in. And I'm going to select this check mark. And then I get an option to choose the master key. Now, once I drop down on here, I can choose either the AWS managed master key just for the EBS service or a master key that I created, or you can choose the master key that you created. So I'm going to choose my key and, and then you can see the KMS key ID uh, account and some details about that key. And finally, I can create a volume. Once I close and if I go back and browse the volumes, the encryption section right here shows that it is encrypted. And that's how you perform encryption of your EBS volumes with KMS keys. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about this video or things related to this video, please post your questions in the comment section. Check out my channel for other videos like this. Check out my website for more content like this. And if you like my videos, subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting a lot more videos very soon. I'll see you in the next video.